Tyler 16 bit here with another video and this is on my current PS5 game collection as of 2024 so let's get right into it I will try to not spend too much time on each game because there are 32 of them here from what I counted earlier so th this one is Judgment by uh, Sega. Well, it, it's published by Sega. Um, it's it's part of the uh, Yakuza series, and um, I've only played some of Yakuza Zero. So I haven't gotten around to this one yet, but it did get a sequel in Lost Judgment. Next up is Immortals Phoenix Rising by Ubisoft. Oh, and it includes a bonus quest. Yeah, this this is a good looking game and I would definitely like to uh, to try it out here soon. It's it's not an expensive game at at all for those uh, who are interested in checking it out. And I think it's on I think it's on both PlayStation Plus and uh, Game Pass. All right, next up is one of my favorite games on the system, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. This is the uh, launch edition. I got this when went on launch day and yeah it's it's a blast definitely recommend this one next up we got Riders Republic also by Ubisoft and you know, it includes a bunny pack but um yeah, it's like an extreme sports game that combines various extreme sports into a single game. So, I have played a little bit of this one, and it's uh, it's actually not bad. Sackboy, A Big Adventure. This is the most recent game in the uh, overall uh, Little Big Planet series with Sackboy um, getting his own game and it's a th 3D platformer with some stuff from the uh, Little Big Planet games. Next up is Spider-Man Miles Morales. This is the uh, Ultimate Launch Edition that included Spider-Man Remastered. Definitely enjoyed this game. It's 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 phenomenal. Uh, the the Spider-Man Remastered, the, the first one, was also really well done. Here's my current favorite game overall on the PS5 and that's Spider-Man 2. This is also the launch edition. Yeah, Insomniac Games right here. They just keep knocking it out of the ballpark every time. Whether it's Ratchet and Clank or, or the Spider-Man games. They definitely know what they're doing. Trinity Trigger from Xseed Games. Now, you may not believe me, but this RPG actually has an instruction manual. And, and let's see if I can get it open here. Yeah. See? Literally a, a manual. And there's a disc right there. But, yeah, that's awesome. Because, obviously, as my username 
Tyler 16 bits suggests I'm from a time where games had manuals and we're already five minutes in. So I apologize because we still got two sacks to go, but Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, I've only seen a little bit of gameplay of this one. I still need to really get into to the series. I do have the first game, and I just happened to get this one for really cheap off Amazon one day, so that's the story behind that one. WWE 2K23. This was uh, this was a pretty good game. Definitely uh, fun to play. And WWE 2K24, which has one of my current favorite wrestlers, Cody Rhodes, all over the cover. Finish your story. Yeah. It is fun. Alright, next up is Hot Wheels Unleashed. Which... Yeah, as the name suggests, you... Uh, and there's a plane flying over. Um, speaking of flying over, you, you pretty much fly around these uh, tracks in the game. Uh, like high speed racing and everything. And we have its sequel, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbo Charged. Which is uh, more the same, but turned up to 11. And uh, definitely really good. Next up is a game that I absolutely love, and that's Persona 3 Reload. I got the Collector's Edition for this one. And... Yeah, just play this game. It's it's gone down in price a little bit. It, it's on it's still on Game Pass. It's on Steam for uh, PC gamers and obviously on PS5. Next up is The Pathless. This is a pretty good looking game too. I definitely should give uh, this one a try. It's, uh, from Giant Squid and Annapurna, I would assume, published it. MXGP 2020, the official motocross video game. I played this quite a bit, actually, and even platinumed it. If platinum is even a word, but... On this one, I did. Mortal Kombat. Oh, I, I didn't even really introduce this game. But Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, which uh, features, you know, all the DLC characters and stuff like that. Yeah, the definitive experience. All 37 fighters. Monster Energy Supercross 6 Championship, the official video game. It's another motocross game like an MXGP. In fact, the, the same company, uh, Milestone, made MXGP and made this series as well in the Hot Wheels Unleashed games. KO the Kangaroo got this from Limited Run. And it's a it's a pretty decent platformer. Here's my newest PS5 game, Forspoken. Got this for just twenty dollars from Walmart. I think it's worth a try. The Last of Us Part One. I played the, I played through this game. It was my first time playing through The Last of Us, and I had. I had a good time. I had a great time, actually. And I still need to play through uh, Left Behind. It's a, a expansion. 
uh, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. I, I got this one as well. And I will definitely be playing through this one. I mean, over 300 Game of the Year awards. So, it speaks for itself. And, in a classic GameStop case, we have Valkyrie Elysium, which is another RPG. Alright, we're, we're to the final stack, and we're, we're around 10 minutes in, so I'll try to get through this quickly. Gran Turismo 7, the 25th or 25th anniversary. And, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, definitely enjoy playing it with the VR, PSVR 2. Godfall, this was actually the first PS5 game ever to be announced. It's like a looter shooter, I believe it's called. Yeah. Well, yeah, looter slash action RPG. Final Fantasy 16. This game needs no introduction. Yeah, I re really like that cover. I like it better than the cover it came with, so so I I just turned the cover over and switched it out. But but yeah, I, I definitely need to put more time into this game because so far I've only played through the demo. Eternal Nights. This this is like an RPG mixed with like uh, relationship elements yeah just yeah i do intend on getting getting around to it though destruction all stars this is like a modern take on uh, vehicular combat and and i think that's pretty cool here is Deathloop by Arcane, I believe that's pronounced Leon, but uh, yeah, they're the same company that that's making the upcoming Indiana Jones game, and if at first he wants to see die, die again, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool game. Grand, why did I say Grand Theft Auto? Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Um, I played more of the multiplayer than the campaign. And probably a good thing I only got this for $20. Avengers. I got this game to play... Uh, multiplayer on it with my brother and still have yet to do that so I don't know how much gameplay this will get from me on my own but we'll see and last but not least from Yu Suzuki the, the legendary Sega developer Air, Air Twister and it's similar to like a Panzer Dragoon or, or, or a Space Harrier type of game. So definitely look forward to checking this one out. And we are now at 14 minutes. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, you all take care.